Hey guys, welcome to lesson 9.5, where we're talking about different types of variations. So there's actually three types. There's direct, indirect, and joint variation. And each of them comes with their own equation. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Notice how all the equations have K in it. Um, K is called the constant of variation. And sometimes it's easy to leave out, so just make sure um, that you don't do that. It's always going to be part of every single equation. Okay, this is how your problems are going to look. So Y varies proportionally to the square of T and inversely to the cube root of R. Okay, so here, let's go up here. Um, when you see indirect, sometimes um, you'll see it in problems as like inversely, um, because it's inverse variation. So um, that is going to be kind of our setup. It varies proportionally. That is our, that's code word for direct variation. So let's see. Um, and then we're always gonna include the K. So y equals, okay, varies proportionally to the square of t. So I'm going to include k and then the square of t and inversely, so fraction, the cubed root of r. So the cubed root of r. So that's how we'd set that up. Okay, let's go to the next equation. Okay, write the equation or write the constant of variation k and then write the specific formulas. Okay, so we have y varies directly as x. So that's like this top part. So y varies directly as x. So that's what I mean. Don't leave out that k. Um, and now it gives us, so that's all it is. Um, so now it gives us when y is 13, x is 26. So we're going to solve for k so that we can answer this. So k is, just like it says, it's our constant. So we can plug in any values and that k is going to stay the same. So let's go ahead and divide by 26. And so I have that k equals 1 half. And so now when I have, oops, when I have my equation, so y equals 1 half x. So that's this. I'm just plugging in for k. Now I can um, plug in any value for x or y and solve for the other number or other value. So what is x when y is 20? So I'm going to say 20 equals 1 half x. So I'm going to divide by 1 half, which is the same thing as multiplying by 2. So x is equal to 40. Okay, so let's apply this to more of um, a word problem. Okay, so the volume of gas is proportional, so that's direct variation, to the temperature and inversely to the pressure. So let's see, it, so volume is proportional to the temperature, so K, T, and notice our K, if we have a fraction, it's always on top. Um, it's never gonna be on bottom, it's always gonna be on top. So K, T, and let's see, inversely to the pressure, so we'll call that P. So we have K, T over P. Now let's, tell, let's look at the problem, see what it tells us. So the volume is 30 liters, so I know that it's going to look like that. When the temperature is 100 Kelvin, and the pressure is 10. So let's see, that pressure is going to go on the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean this up. So that's 10. So 30 equals 10K, and then we're going to solve for K, so K equals 3. So I know I'm just going to change this, oops, I'm just going to change that to K equals, K equals 3 there. So I'm just plugging in that 3 there. Okay, so now let's, let's uh, go ahead and apply it to the rest of the problem. Okay, so it says, what is the volume, so we're looking for V, when the temperature is 80 and the pressure is 25. So we're literally going to type this into our calculator, and um, we end up getting a decimal. So I'm going to call that 9.6 liters.
Okay, let's do the next one. So the cost of printing a magazine is jointly proportional. So that means, let's go back up here. That means that there's other stuff going on in the equation. So we'll have multiple, it's kind of like multiple direct variation, if you will. Okay, as a number of pages and number of magazines printed. Okay, so let's call this, let's see, cost, and then we always have that K. Um, number of pages, I'll call P. Number of magazines, I'll call M. Okay, cost is 10,000. When 500 magazines, so that's our M, and 150 pages are printed, that's our P. So 150, 500, we're going to solve for K. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so um, I showed my work over here, but I found that K is equal to 2 over 15. So let's look at the rest of the problem here. Um, so we have, um, let's see, how many magazines can be printed? Okay, so we're looking for this guy. So we know that our K now is 2 over 15. And so let's see what we have for C and what we have for P. Um, the cost is 24000 and the pages are decreased by 105 pages. So let's see, we had 150, and now we decreased that by 105. So let's see, 150 minus 105, that's 45. So I have, um, two fifths, let's do the K, so 2 over 15 times 45 times M. Okay, go ahead and solve for M and see what you get. Okay, when I did that, I showed my work and I have 4,000, so M equals 4,000. So how many magazines can be printed? 4,000 magazines. And that is it.